Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to style your Divi blog module grid cards. So throughout this video, we'll also be using a bit of CSS and all the links to the resources that we use in this tutorial will be linked in the show notes below. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how we managed to achieve this design. So before we get started, let's go through the things that you're going to need in order for us to make this tutorial work. So first of all, we're going to be using some CSS code. Now, if you want to follow along, I'll include the link to the post in the show notes below. So before we get started, you also need to go ahead and create 12 posts with featured images. Now the images that I used are from a website called unsplash.com. These are royalty free images and the size of the uh, featured images is 1280 by 853 pixels. And finally, I also use some dummy text from Lorem Ipsum. So you can go ahead and use that for your posts. Okay, so what we want to do now is to go ahead and create a new page. So I've come over here into my WordPress dashboard and I've come here to pages and and I've added a new page. Now I've just called this, play, uh, this page blog page. You can name this page whatever you want. Now after you've done that, go ahead and click on use the Divi Builder. So I'm a fan of the Visual Builder, so I'm going to dive in and go straight into the Visual Builder. So I'm going to click on use the Visual Builder. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to um, add some columns. So the column we're going to need is a single column and the module that we're going to need is the blog module. So I'm just going to click on the blog. Now over here on the blog module, what we need to do is to make sure that the layout is set to grid and the number of posts are 12. And then finally, we just need to make sure that the read more button is set to on. So the next thing we need to do now is to go into the CSS and add a CSS ID of grid card and then go ahead and save. For this example, I'm going to target one of the odd numbered blog module cards, card one and three. So in order for us to do that, we've got some CSS code that we have here. So I'm going to paste the CSS code in the theme options or in fact a better way to do this is actually to come here into the settings so this can add the CSS in the page settings so I'm going to come over here to the CSS tab and just paste my CSS so now that I've entered the CSS you can see now that we have affected our CSS has affected the first and this one right here at the bottom so let's take a look at what the code is doing. So we can see here, column first child selects the first column in the blog module. So if we take a look here, it's quite difficult to read what's in this card. So what we're going to do is the next CSS code that we're going to enter is going to make the text white. So it will make it easier for us to read. So I'm just going to paste that. And now you can see that that CSS code has actually made change this text to white. So now it's easier to read. So our next step in creating this uh, checkout layout is to add more CSS. Now what we need to do is to skip this one and make sure that the, the card that has this gray area is on this one. So let me just enter the um, CSS code so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to enter my CSS code. So now we can see that our checkout layout is coming along. So all we need to do is to make sure that we add this style on the middle column. So I'm going to add the CSS code. So now that I've just entered the CSS code, we can see now that we have this checkered design. So I'm just going to save this for now so we can see this in full screen. So I'm going to click this icon here. And now we can see that we are once we've zoomed out, we can see that we have this checkered layout. So in our next example, we're going to be adding the hover effects on the checkered layout. So let's go in and uh, let's add the CSS code. So I'm going to come back here into my page settings, click on the CSS tab, and I'm just going to scroll all the way down until I get to where I last entered my CSS code. So I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so now that we have our CSS in place, if we hover over, we can see now that uh, the hover effect is now working. And this is pretty cool. So the ones that have the duck color will 
change into a white background. So if I do that here, we can see now that's changed to white. And then if I do it on this one, it changes to gray. So that's pretty, that's a pretty cool design. So in this third example, we're going to apply the same duck background and white text on the cards in every other row, not column. So again, in order for us to achieve this, we're going to need to add the CSS code. So I'm going to go back into my CSS tab and I'm just going to enter my CSS code. So now we can see that this has affected this row. Like that. So in this fourth example, we're going to design a specific blog module card. So again, I'm going to come over here, enter my CSS code. Now, if you want to select one specific module card to do this, you must find the unique post ID and that is automatically assigned to each of your cards. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and save this and I'm also going to save this page and exit the Visual Builder. So there you have it. Go ahead and try this on your own website. As I mentioned, the code that we use throughout this whole tutorial can be found in the link that I'll provide in the show notes below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.